Hi guys, today I want to show you how to use the Xbox 360 Connect with Breckle Body Pro software to make motion capture files. So let's get started. So I've been wanting to do motion capture for a while now. If you don't know what that is, I'll give a quick explanation. Motion capture is when you take a sensor like the Xbox Connect and it will record you but it records different than a normal camera. It tracks where your body is, like when I do a dance or whatever. It then, when you're done recording, gives you a skeleton, which is doing whatever you just did. And then in other softwares, you can map 3D objects to parts of the skeleton, and then those 3D objects will start doing what you're doing. So people use this in movies and different things like that. So for instance, I could act like a robot and have it recording me, and then I could put it in a different software and have a 3D model of a robot, which I then hook up to my skeleton, and then it would look like the robot is doing whatever I just did. So now let's actually see the Connect with Breckle Body Pro working. Okay, so to start, put your Xbox 360 Connect sensor up somewhere high. Now, I have this tripod for our Xbox One Connect sensor, which sadly does not work with the computer that I'm trying to use motion capture for. So I just placed the 360 sensor above the Xbox One sensor. Make sure the sensor is placed so that there is a wide area for you to stand for it to record. Okay, so when you open the software, you can see we're getting images from the Kinect, although it's a little screwed. But if I stand back, where the Kinect can see me, you can see it is tracking me. I can walk around a little bit, move my arms, dance a little bit, and you can see it's tracking me. So when we record this file, it will then send the file to other softwares where we can make it so that I'm a robot or something else. Now I'm still learning how to do some of that, so I'm not gonna show that in this video but maybe in the future I'll make a video on how to do the other part of motion capture. So I have the settings set to full body right here. And this lets me make sure that it's recording my entire body and not just my lower body or whatever like that. So I'm just going to bring this up. Can I lower this? So if you go over here to the record tab, I'm going to turn on T-Pose on first frame and then BVH, which is the motion capture file. Hit browse, tell it where you want it to go. I'm going to tell it to go to my desktop. And then if you come down here, we'll name what you want it to call, be called. So I'm going to call it test. Then you can also tell it when I click um, the record button how many seconds it delays so that I can get in front of the sensor. So I'm going to keep it at six. And I'm going to click start recording. Now if I run back over here, as you can see it's now tracking me. And I'm moving around a bit. And it's tracking. So if I walk around a little bit, ba 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 ba, and move about, it's tracking me. So you can make cool movies that have animated characters doing whatever you're doing. So now I'm going to come back over here and click stop. Now it is just going to compress it. Okay, and if you click on preview, you can see what we just recorded. I suggest Breckle. So as you can see, that worked really well. Now, if you're trying to get into motion capture making, I would really suggest using an Xbox Connect and Breckle. And I think it works really well. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful, leave a thumbs up.
And if you really liked it, please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.